And a very good morning to you. It is Tuesday, the 6th of October, 2020. And this is your friend Angus Bucken with a thought for the day. If we go to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17 and verse 2. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun and his clothes became as white as the light. That was Jesus Christ when he was transfigured on the mountain in front of his three disciples, Peter, James, and John. We need to live lives that are holy. We have got to understand that our Lord Jesus Christ is our holy God. We need to be different. We do not need to be contaminated with the lusts and the evil of this world. You know, I remember James Hudson Taylor reading about that man of God who started the China Inland Mission. As a young man, he left England, not uh, supported by any organization, just led by the Holy Spirit, and he went to China to preach the gospel to the Chinese people. And one young convert that came to Christ James Hudson Taylor spoke to him a few months after he had been converted. And he said, how is it going with you? He says, well, it's like there are two dogs in my stomach. There is an evil one and there is a righteous one. And they are fighting. And Hudson Taylor said to him, and which one is winning? And he said, the one that I feed the most. Now, if you are spending time in pornography... If you're spending all your time listening to the bad news that's going on, if you have lost control of yourself and you are obese, are you self-centered? Are you concerned about yourself? Then that is where the victory is going to be. The devil is going to have the victory over you. Let you and I rather concentrate on the things of God. Now, the chapter in the Bible that is full of love is 1 Corinthians chapter 13. It's the chapter I normally read at a wedding. And right at the end, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and the last verse says, and now abide faith, hope, and love. Let us today spend time with the things of God. Let us be careful how we speak. Let us be careful what we watch, what we listen to, And let us spend time with the master because he's our holy God and he requires you and I to be his holy people. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. Goodbye.